Colorado sets a dubious new record for summer drownings on lakes and rivers. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, nearly 127,000 vehicles passed through both sides of the Eisenhower Tunnel this weekend, Friday through Sunday, down just 4% compared to last week, up 9.5% compared to the same weekend last October. CDOT is in the home stretch of its westbound express lane project. And that means daytime closures from Empire to Idaho Springs. Expect single lane traffic on I-70 westbound beginning today from 1 p.m. until late, Mondays through Wednesdays, and 5 to 9 p.m. on Thursdays. This continues through November with delays up to 30 minutes, especially outside of Idaho Springs. The Deep Creek Fire in Northern Summit is now 100% contained. That fire erupted last Wednesday and quickly scorched 88 acres in 48 hours before firefighters contained the blaze, preventing further spread. No people were injured and no structures were damaged. 31 people drowned on open water in Colorado this summer, including one in Summit and three in Grand County. Colorado Parks and Wildlife reports that is a new record, higher than even last year, when 19 people drowned on rivers alone, many from high runoff. A veteran sailor drowned on Lake Dillon this June, while a tuber disappeared on the Upper Colorado in late May, and two people died on Lake Granby in July. Summit County Sheriff is warning locals of phone scams, supposedly coming from their own office. Multiple residents report fake deputies have called them recently, claiming they've got a warrant and the only way to avoid jail is to pay immediately. Another scam claims compromised social security data. The sheriff's office will never call for warrants or social security fraud. Do not give your personal info and hang up immediately. Ballots for the 2020 election are in the mail now and should arrive by end of this week. A reminder to update your voting info by October 26th for a November ballot. Colorado is a mail-in ballot state, but you can still drop it off in person at one of five locations countywide. If you fear your ballot is lost, you can get a replacement by calling the county clerk, but please wait until next week. The latest now on coronavirus and so many outbreaks. Summit Health officials confirm five local outbreaks in the past seven days, including the UPS warehouse in Silverthorne and Summit County government over the weekend, plus three Breckenridge restaurants last week. Testing confirms four employees at UPS, although the Silverthorne manager is not releasing info to the county. This could lead to fines. County government confirms two cases, but did not name the specific department. This comes after an otherwise healthy summer in Summit. County Commissioner Elizabeth Lawrence. Our COVID case numbers stayed relatively low and stable. We did a really good job. It's just been in the past few weeks, the past month, that things have started to get off the rails. Summit's infection rate per 100,000 people was below 50 for most of August, one of the lowest in the state before the Labor Day surge when it jumped to 300 per 100,000, one of the highest. Summit's latest infection rate is 168 per 100,000 people, up seven points from Friday, with a positive test rate of 5.1% down slightly. Summit Medical Center remains at 21% capacity. In sports, today's Broncos game, rescheduled from yesterday, is postponed again. The Broncos will play New England next Sunday after another positive COVID test for the Patriots. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Football lost the home opener Friday 34-42 against Conifer. Next game for the Tigers is this Thursday against Thornton on the Front Range. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.